All right, let's, let's go over uh, yesterday's price action. We'll go over today's price action on crude. It's the best way to do it. And here's how we want to uh, look at uh, getting on the right side of the market on any given market. We always want to stay on the right side of the market. We're not trying to fight the overall top algorithms out there, the high-frequency traders, the hedge funds, the prop firms. Basically, what you're going against, you're, you're going against the top top players in the market like that. So you're not really going against retail. Retail is typically wrong because there's a lot of counter trend traders in the wrong. You're not really fighting retail when you buy and sell. You're really trading against professional trading opponents. So these, these high-frequency traders, these algorithms, they like to buy and sell retracements with the overall trend context. So what we got to do is we have to make sure we're with the side of the market of the push. Either they're trying to mark the market up or they're trying to mark the market down. The best way to do to see if they're trying to mark the market up or mark the market down is use this 9SIM Rinko that we have. 9SIM Rinko. This is a Rinko bar we developed. We actually created our own server so it would not be get released to the public because it's very, very special. It has a nice little trend filter built into it. What we can use with it is we can use overall trend development with it and see if we're on the right side of the market. How can we do that? Let's look at the whole entire session yesterday. The session yesterday on the 24th, we've only had a couple trend changes. Right here on the far left, after midnight, started this trend up. Where my arrows are, that bar started to trend down. This bar where my arrows are started to trend up. There was no sells all the way from 9.30 when the New York opened all the way to 12 o'clock. So if you were trading crude yesterday, if you sold any contracts yesterday, you are wrong. You're fighting the tape. You are against the overall trend of crude yesterday. So that's how we can use the 9 Simrinko. Now let me show you. Let me blow it up. I'll show you exactly how we do this. The beautiful thing about this chart is, is we can use it to find overall movement in the market. Now I'm going to show you the sweet spot, how we can, how we can get into this. You can see right here, I look at the open versus close relationship on the body of the candle. If I got 50% or more of the candle that is straddling or good over top of my smaller MA, then I know that I'm possibly in a trend down. The confirmation is 90% on the next candle. If 90% of the body of the open versus close of the candle is 90%, then I know I'm in a possible move down to the upside. So what I want to do is I want to look at my arrow charts on the 5 and 3 Simrinko and take arrow shorts all the way down. I won't change my bias until I get a 50% candle or more, which is right here, to give me an indication of change of trend. Once I get a confirmation of the open versus close of 90%, this starts a whole trend up. As you can see, you had no sells all the way to 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So what you want to do is keep your bias at 12 o'clock in the afternoon if you're a crude trader all the way yesterday. Really easy to see. 67.80 all the way to 69, 120 ticks. You better be a buyer, not a seller. And that keeps you on the right side of the market. Now the sweet spots on retracements will be these little wicks. We had an arrow buy there. We had an arrow buy here. We had an arrow buy here. We had an arrow buy here. So those are spots in the market you can take long. We had an arrow buy here. Several opportunities get long. When you see a red reversal bar like this, that is typically a counter trend trader against a trend. So if you see a counter trend trader pop in the market, you know to look for a five or three sim long at this level for a continuation. Right here again. So then the bias changes again. Yesterday, there's your 50% candle. Here's your 90. We get rolling down to the downside. Now, if I go over today's action then, what do we have? Well, there's your 50%. Told you we're possibly moving down this morning. There's your 90% candle. Open versus close. Now, what I'd like to do, if it's a 90% candle, then I know it should never break two ticks above 
the previous candles high if the trend's going to be intact. So that told me the bias is short all morning this morning until what? Until we got a corrective wave, which we have right here. Right there's your 50%. There's your 90, getting us rolling it to the upside. So you can take a buy setup with the arrows for a corrective wave to the upside. So we've only had this morning, we've only had sell side bias since midnight, and we have a buy side bias. Only two tre uh, trend changes this morning, where yesterday we've only had four. And if you really do that, it really slows the market down for you on any given market, and you can really get on the right side of the market. Now, the cool thing about it is if I see space between my open versus close and my smaller MA and I'm above all three or below all three, this is the hottest part of the market where you better be holding your runners. It happens about three, sometimes four days a week. We're going to get these hard moves in this environment that we're in where you get a lot of space between the open versus close. If you see that and you get a breakout on your five sim breaking the symmetry and you get an arrow entry off the three sim, you better jump aboard the market because typically that's your largest move in the market. So we want to make sure we understand that. So that's how we can we, we can play the market off of a large time frame and see what the bias is. And you just keep to your bias. Your bias is short there all the way down to this bar. Your bias is long here all the way up until this bar. You're short here all the way into the close. So it really helps you get on the right side of the market by looking at that where those arrows are and keeping on that side of the market. So that's how we want to do it. Okay, so we're in a small corrective wave up right now. You can see that the 5 and 3 sim actually broke through the 5 sim symmetry dots, found support, paused the market delta, and moving up with the trend of the 9. We won't get movement here until we get crude oil inventories, but using this technique like I showed you is really, really a cool technique on getting inside in, in, in these markets. And um, it really helps you get on the right side of the market.